Scavengers are one of the most intelligent species in Rain World that still persist long after the mass ascension of the planet's apex race. They are highly proficient survivalists and can be found in nearly every region across the globe. This particular specimen is known as Subject 7115, codename Leek. Their overall scores in their personality traits and skills are very high, with the only exception of sympathy. This high proficiency is displayed physically by their large ear clairs, contrasted by their minuscule eyes. It should also be noted that this specimen has an unusually long tail for a scavenger. Let's test out how well this scavenger does in combat, shall we? Let's start with something simple. The numbers don't lie. This scavenger is definitely a killer. There was zero hesitation. This pink lizard didn't stand a chance. So how about a lizard with a bit more skill and versatility? Unfortunately, the blue lizard was disoriented and failed to follow up before Leek stabbed it in the back. The green lizard should prove to be more interesting. I just realized that the subject only has one spear, so I'll add a few more before. Very well then, I shall move on to the next phase. Hmm, I don't want to bring out the red lizard just yet. The cyan lizard should prove to be an excellent opponent. With its ability to propel itself through the air in chemically powered bursts, it can outmaneuver the scavenger easily. I'm sorry, can we see that again? Ah, I see now. That was quite the blunder on the cyan's part. The cyan lizard was trying to preemptively steal the scavenger's spear away using their tongue. However, it made a grave miscalculation as the scavenger threw the spear just as the lizard let their tongue loose to grapple for it. The action only caused the spear to be propelled directly into the lizard's open mouth, likely stabbing straight through the throat and into the lizard's jugular vein. All right, let's try for something a little more complex. Obviously, this scavenger is more than capable of dealing with opponents one-on-one, -on -one, but what if there were multiple factors at play? Those yellow lizards didn't even have enough time to orient themselves after spawning in. Leek managed to snipe them from afar and was only thwarted due to bad RNG. Luckily, the vulture arrived and dispatched the last yellow lizard before it could bring Leek's corpse back to the den. I might as well revive the subject after that. I want to see how well it fares against the vulture.
A vulture mask is a coveted prize for scavengers, not quite as valuable as pearls, but an item of symbolic significance to them nonetheless. I suppose I am obligated to send in a king vulture. The King Vulture proves to be a deadly opponent, tanking the spear hit to its side and incapacitating the test subject. Perhaps if Leek had an explosive spear, they might have stood a better chance. That was a pretty sick dodge, though. Since quite a few of you were infatuated with the pretty pink specimen, I will add Subject 3056, code name Sakura, to the test as a treat. Sakura has stats that greatly contrast the stats of Leek. All of the numbers are below average, with their block skill sitting at a dead zero. These lower scores are physically displayed by the scavenger's diminutive features. The smaller ear tillers and the larger eyes give them an almost friendly appearance. If you were to encounter scavengers in the wild, approaching scavengers that have similarly large and expressive eyes is the safest if you are seeking to parlay with them. They are much less likely to kill you on sight. With the two test subjects in the room, we can observe the differences in behavior when encountering a threat. Leek is very proactive in hunting down a threat whenever they hear it, while Sakura appears to mill about. Whether this is due to the fact that Sakura has smaller eartlers and is thus not as aware of their surroundings is up for debate. Notice the delay in each spear throw. Sakura is not as confident in their aim as Leek. In fact, they almost lobotomized Leek with the last spear throw. Sakura is also prone to hiding, which is why they miss out on Leek's last stand against a caramel lizard. The caramel lizard was wounded during the scuffle, so it is unlikely that it will return. Leek has been eliminated, leaving Sakura alone to finish the rest of this test. Without Leek or any other scavengers for support, Sakura is too afraid to attack the Caramel Lizard, choosing to flee instead of fight, unwilling to potentially lose what few spears they already have. Sakura is trying to hide in a place that they think the caramel can't reach. 
After all, caramels may be fast, but they are not very agile and they cannot climb poles. However, having six limbs do come in handy. For the next several minutes, a game of cat and mouse is played between the two test subjects. I went ahead and sped up the footage a bit. Eventually, Sakura is eliminated. Thus concludes the first iteration of the Scavenger Games experiment. There will be another poll soon featuring some new candidates, as well as the old ones that didn't win the last poll. <laughs>